What's going on, guys? How you guys doing? It's Uncle Muscles. Um, I'm never really video like this per se, so there we go. Okay, we got it. Um, yeah, this is my uh ZX99 EV3 underscore V1.31 review. Um, I did a YouTube video on this. I don't even remember. This was more than a couple months ago at this point. Um, but I, uh, I needed a new motherboard. I have an X99 6850K CPU processor, and, um, I was using a Gigabyte X99P SLI, uh, motherboard, and it, it busted. Now, here's the problem. This is the second time that motherboard is busted. I, I, I probably gave more of a backstory back then when it happened. But I needed a replacement, and they don't make X99 motherboards anymore. Um, the other thing is that I should have probably searched for X79. I don't know why I didn't think to do that at the time, because it's basically it's the same. It, it's this, not the same chipset, but it works for the same CPUs. Um, and I may have found a better deal if I was looking for X79, perhaps. I just I, it was a term I didn't Google. I should have at the time, and I kind of made a mistake. But that's okay. I think we're gonna be. All right, um, I didn't get this motherboard working until two days ago, so my computer has been kind of busted for a long time, but it's working, um, and I just want to show you guys what to expect if you guys do the same thing I did. I'll be really honest with you, right off the bat, I would not recommend this motherboard to anyone. I will leave a link below to what I purchased um, as far as support and any type of... I was left in the dark for two. I really thought this motherboard was broken. I was wrong. I actually tried to return the motherboard. I just got a full-out refund for it. It's just been sitting in my living room for the past, I think, two months. Um, I decided to go ahead and look for another motherboard, uh, but I just never... Well, I'll tell you exactly what happened. I went, to, I went to look for another motherboard, and then I saw uh, there was a diagram on it that showed you the correct pinout. I was just not correcting... I was not con connecting my power switch to the right port. It's not standard. It's not the same. It's not the same diagram that you receive on other motherboards. I made a huge mistake. I just made a big mistake. I didn't realize I was trying to turn it on with the wrong two pins. I didn't realize. Anyway, what do you get with this motherboard? Not much. It's really not worth it. Like I said, um, it says American Mega Mega Trends as the BIOS vendor. I'm I'm guessing that this BIOS is somehow salvaged from other BIOSes. It does not look like this is built by any one specific company. I think this is just, they were like, let's take this part of a BIOS from this motherboard that has this, this, the same parts on our motherboard, and we'll just port it over to ours. I think that's kind of what they did. There's no overclocking. I'm surprised it even sees I have this much memory. I do have 32 gigs of memory. Uh, there's no overclocking. Um, I'm getting 3.6 gigahertz on my CPU. It's really... I use, I could overclock this. The Basically how my other motherboard died. I could overclock this motherboard to 4.4. I had it overclocked at 4.3. This is post the Spectre and um, whatever lockdown, whatever. The, right after that, they changed the, the microcode for all the, all the motherboards. My... Uh, CPU wasn't really even covered by a lot of the manufacturers that were updating the microcode for the motherboards at the time. In fact, if you're watching this video, this probably happened to you. That's probably why you're coming across this now. Um, but yeah, so like the Meltdown Inspector, those things, uh, if you had like an X9, uh, X99 chipset, you probably don't have support by the manufacturer of your motherboard or Intel at this point. So you might be coming across the same issue I'm having. Um, I actually got a specific BIOS that was sent to me over by Gigabyte that had the updated microcode. And the only reason why they did this is because I actually made my own BIOS for my for my motherboard, which worked fine. Um, all you had to do was just change your microcode. It's actually a fairly easy process. I went and Googled it, and it just it didn't take that long to do. Um, and it actually re-enabled overclocking. They told me that... Um, uh their their bios uh if if they gave it to me it's not going to be covered under warranty anything like that but it it, it it essentially accomplished the same thing like i when i when i upgraded my bios and when they sent me a new bios it was the same thing i i, I probably could have just kept mine on there it didn't really matter theirs was a couple 
I, it seemed like they had they had worked on it a couple times. So whatever I did wasn't really the probably the best solution. They probably did some like some minor edits. That being said, there was a bug with the motherboard that when you power it on, sometimes that was it. That was the last time we would power it on. Uh, it's it's reported by other users too. So that board was not good. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Uh, Gigabyte in general, I have a lot of their motherboards that have broken over the past. Um, their customer support isn't that amazing, but it's also not that bad. Like I said, they gave me a custom BIOS and they told me, hey, this is not going to be a warranty, but we'll hook you up. They're pretty nice, to be honest, but you have to somehow get in contact with them. That's the hard part. So whatever. That's my little, that's my little tangent for, for Gigabyte. I'm sorry. I'm not really going through the motherboard here, but I mean, there's a lot of backstory here. Like I said, you might have the same issue that I'm having, but there's nothing. There's nothing in this BIOS that matters. Um, processor configuration. Okay. I don't, there's nothing. I can't overclock this at all. Um, I'm surprised this actually has some of these. I didn't even see this before. Wow, okay. So this is, I'll just go through everything on here. I should probably do two videos on this. I'm not going to. This is just going to be how I upload it. Um, this is how I do all my videos. They're just rants and ramblings. Uh, <laughs> but hopefully you enjoy it. I don't know what this, enable, disable targeted SMI feature. I might need to enable that. SMM save state, and I don't know. Uh, these aren't enabled. I'll have to go look at some of these things. I really just wanted to be able to overclock it, but that's not something. Check CPU BIST result. I don't know what that does. Intel for i7 6850K CPU 6, uh, 3.6 gigahertz. That's correct. That reads correct, but it, I don't see any um, uh, ways to overclock. Let's hit escape here. Uh, advanced power management configuration. This is actually more than I realized last time. Hold on, is there actually way more stuff here? P state control, hey, enable, and Whoa, this is actually a lot more stuff than I realized. This didn't, I don't think this showed up the first time I, I did this. Uh, see, uh, what's HWPM for CPU better energy performance? Okay. Okay, so the C state, okay. This recommended to be disabled okay uh the c state control so this is a power power saving stuff uh and it says rec c3 report disable c6 report disable interesting so maybe that's for like debugging cpu t state control acpi t states enable okay throttling reduces power consumption um okay so i will know i will make a note of the one issue i've noticed with this motherboard so far when I am running the audio on this motherboard, it if I just left my computer in an idle state with like music playing, eventually the audio would start slowing down and sound like it was degrading. Now I did upgrade the audio codec to Realtek like 2.862 R2, whatever it was, like the most recent one. If you go to the Realtek website, it's like a 20 hour download for it. You can probably find it somewhere else too. Um, I don't necessarily recommend going to third parties for downloads, especially for drivers and stuff like that. But the Realtek website is not incredibly reliable. And in general, for things like that, you can kind of risk it for the biscuit. I don't remember if I did or didn't. Um, but I did upgrade the Realtek driver, which enabled uh, advanced audio relay, which like if, you, like if you're streaming like I do, I actually duplicate the audio over to another output line which then gets copied over to my stream blah 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 um and those things don't come native uh the one problem is that on my on my desktop because i had an, a previous motherboard and then i added the new motherboard in on top of the old like configuration settings and driver settings like my audio profile says two on everything instead of like just like hdmi it says like two dash hdmi so it's like it doubled over i don't really care at this point um whatever my computer is back and so i'm happy about it the main thing I was like hoping for, hoping for is that like the, the, um, uh, advanced PM and energy prefer, uh, preference bias, uh, provides hint to CPU for better performance to power savings. Energy performance tuning. What? Enable? What? What is it? Uh, average time window. I don't know what this stuff. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna go back to disable because I really don't know what this stuff is.
Okay. Uh, energy performance bias settings power. Uh, energy prefer uh, preference bias. If I hit disable, if I hit enable. I don't know what I just did. I'm gonna leave it on power because I like power, but I I don't know. I'm like really skeptical of changing the settings on this because I don't. There's not like if I if I and that's funny because if I see anything to overclock, I'm gonna hit that. As far as and which is probably the most dangerous thing. Wait, hold on. Did I miss anything? Uh, config TDP. E e uncore clear. Okay, so there's actually a lot more settings than I realized. I just don't know if there's going to be overclocking features. Oh. My God. Oh, my God. So you can overclock this much more than I thought. Uh, this didn't show up the first time I looked at this motherboard. I'm not even gonna lie. I went through all the settings when I first did it. I didn't see overclocking feature. I'm wondering if... Huh. Okay, so when I first started this motherboard, the first time I looked at the BIOS, I didn't have the PCIe slot set up. So that's part of it. Um... Okay. That's definitely part of it here. Processor. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. I'm very about doing this. This isn't some auto overclock. I'm not super amazing with auto uh, with overclocking. This has more overclocking features than I realized. Um for now. Wow. Okay. All right, I might have to just do a, another video. Okay, so my first, inter okay, you know what? We're just gonna wrap this up now because I'm wasting everybody's time. I'm gonna do another video really quickly. Um, but this is gonna be the main like, okay, this is actually, is it bad or is it good? I don't even know. I really can't tell yet. I'm gonna go through the entire menu really quickly just for everybody, just to explain. I gave a little backstory for everybody. If you watch this video, I do appreciate it. Um, I guess hit the like button. I'm just gonna wrap this up. This is just kind of me going through it. I appreciate it. Uh, there's more features in here than I realized. I give you a backstory about my other gigabyte card or my gig gigabyte motherboard. This motherboard does work. I just, the features on it are so alien to me. There's a website I'm gonna drop in the description below. If you're interested, go check it out. It's a bunch of these motherboards. It's a Russian website, but it gives you a backstory. And this is the reason why I came up with the one that I purchased. Um, other than that, like I said, I'm just gonna do another just this is the BIOS, very flat out video, and I'm just gonna go through it. So it's gonna be a three part series, um, whatever. And no one's gonna watch it. I don't really care. It's not the point. Just if you have any questions about this, you can hit me up. I'll try to answer them. And then that's it. Uh, this the motherboard doesn't really apply to anybody except for people that had X99 chipsets and you needed a replacement motherboard, which I'm guessing that there's more than one of you out there. Um, Cause like it, it happened to me twice already. And now, and so yeah, that's it. I mean, like my, my X99 motherboard died twice. I mean, it is a gigabyte motherboard, so that's kind of given, but it did die twice. And now this is the only solution that exists. Now, if you're also into Bitcoin mining, or cryptocurrency mining, whatever, um, a lot of these motherboards were distributed for that purpose because they were taking re repurposed old, uh, the, like the server grade uh, X99 processors, the whatever they're called, Xeon, to like 2366 whatever they are i forget 
those processors are taking those out which i actually might end up buying that and upgrading this computer to one of those with all those core counts i might get like a 22 core count cpu and make this my streaming computer that was the idea anyway sorry i'm getting way out of hand here if you guys enjoy the content me just rambling i do appreciate it i'm just gonna go do another one of these videos i'll make that the main one thank you guys for watching appreciate it. love you guys uh check me out on my twitch channel twitch.tv slash uncle muscles i am a really really good widow and I'm probably the best tour you'll ever see, baby boys. Let's go. Love ya. Bye.